Hey guys, welcome back. So today is a video on how to make a kind of rumbling bass line which works well in electro, uh, techno and experimental tracks. It's one that I've heard in a couple other people's music and recently learnt how to make. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first we'll start with an instance of analog. As you can hear, I've written a small MIDI sequence. It's playing the same notes and at one point drops down an octave. Nothing fancy. Turn off oscillator 2 and bring oscillator 1 down to octaves. Then lower the frequency down to around 300 and up the resonance to around 70. After that we'll want to edit the filter envelope to be short and plucky. Next let's increase the envelope on the resonance modulation. I've up mine to 1.43. Now the amp envelope. Let's reduce the release to 126 milliseconds and increase the decay and sustain just a little bit. Now onto the LFO. This is where quite a lot of the uniqueness of the sound comes from. Let's enable LFO1 and increase the rate to 1.6 Hz. Now let's apply it to the frequency modulation. Increase LFO1 to around 0.83. The LFO will give a lot of character now by modulating the position of the frequency filter, making each note sound different. I'm just going to add a little extra character by turning on the vibrato and increasing it to around 12% and dropping the rate down a bit. I'm going to also turn on the glide and bring the time down to 30%. Now to add some effects to turn our plucky bass into a more rumbling warpy bass. The main thing I'll be doing is adding an echo, and for now I won't change any of the settings. As you can hear, our sound has both a high resonant squelch and a rumble in the lower frequencies. If you want to get rid of the high frequency, just use an EQ8 to filter out the sound that you want to use. I'll trim the high ends and the extreme lows. Finally, I'll add the saturation preset a bit warmer to give the sound a bit more colour, warmth and drive. To really give this sound some interest, we can modulate the EQ and the filter on the echo. You can hear me just messing around with this now. Changing what we allow through the EQ to the echo will change up the sound over time and give some really interesting effects. You could also have a go at sending the rumble bass to any of your returns to see if you can get any cool combinations. Automating this will also add to the interest of your track. Well that's it, a simple little bass line which sounds wicked. So that's the video, I hope you guys enjoyed, maybe start using this sound in your own tracks. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, really helps me out and gets other people seeing my videos through the algorithms and I'll catch you in the next one.